and this is just a quick update on my Iron Man suit Mark 45 and um, as you can see I'm about 80% or so finished I'm doing the chins right now and uh, the arms are lying down here in pieces I know the lighting isn't very good down here but uh, anyway um, the arc reactor is in place it's very bright and there's always uh, as always uh, a bunch of blue LEDs in the uh, air vents or whatever you call them um, I think I'm gonna take a minute to explain the helmet uh, it deserves it yep here we have the helmet it's well finished um, this camera is like GoPro so it has a wide angle lens that's probably why you get the fish eye effect anyway um, there's lights in the eyes uh, they're not very strong and obviously that's because I want to be able to see anything and if we open it up manually the, the eyes stay uh, shut off because there's a magnetic switch up here in the top and the um, whole visor can be taken off it's just magnets and if we see on the inside there's uh, strong lights here there's a set of LEDs and they actually shine like a flashlight towards the eyes uh, making them appear like they're lit and this visor doesn't contain anything except these pieces of plastic so this is basically what I see when I look out it's not a whole lot but well, you can make it <laughs> um, inside the helmet um, you have the hinges these are metal hinges uh, two of them with a metal plate and some uh, rivets uh, the magnets attach to this strip right here and there's a servo motor up here it's uh, very strong I think it's like 15 kilos uh, torque and there's an arm with a kind of a wheel down here and this actually pushes on the hinges like so and then gravity uh, forces it to go down again as I cut the power there's a small Arduino board inside here, I think it's called a micro or something, it's very tiny. And on the inside there's of course a whole lot of wiring. Uh, I put some foam in there for comfort. And uh, there are six batteries, AA, uh, two are for the lights and four for the motor and the uh, Arduino. On the other side there's a powerful magnet uh, the purpose of that is so I can put my cell phone on the inside of the helmet uh, I have an app on my cell phone it's called uh, Utter U-T-T-E-R uh, it's a very good app and it's voice activated so I put the uh, Irish uh, lady on there so it sounds just like Friday in the movie uh, in the movie uh, Age of Ultron so I can speak to my cell phone and then the sound comes out from the chest piece which contains a very well very very but it's a big uh, bluetooth speaker and since the speaker is placed inside of the whole chest cavity you get a, a source kind of a acu uh, acoustic or whatever you call it it's a it amplifies the sound so so it sounds really powerful i'm going to show that later as well uh, you can play music, sound clips, etc. So we put this on, like so, and it lights up. And just to make sure it's in the right place, I'm gonna push on the inside with my hand. Now, on the inside of the chin here, there's a switch. And I can actually push that switch with my chin. So I can open and close the helmet uh, without using any hands or any wires or anything. So the whole helmet is a self-containing unit. There are no wires going down to the rest of the suit, which is one of the, the main things I uh, plan for. Um, this is what it looks like when you look inside. And as you can see it stays up until you tilt your head forward and gravity makes it fall down. So and you can see the lights in there kind of strong but yeah looks pretty decent now it's daylight so you know um, it takes
takes away some of the effect. But anyway, that's my video today. Uh, subscribe, like, whatever, comment. Uh, I'll make uh, more videos soon. The, the suit is like just a few weeks away from being finished. So you'll definitely see that. And um, yeah, keep up the good work, guys.